That's exactly right. I mean, why, why do you engage in intercollegiate athletics? You engage to win. We play to win, and we expect to win. We have been winning. And not only have we been winning in the CAA, we have been winning on the national scale. And so it's time for every one of our sports to step up to that next level, and we wouldn't do it if we didn't think they could. For you, Dr. Al, West McElroy, Sports Radio 910 here in Richmond. Right. Two-part question. One, yes, what were some of the factors of the immediacy to move starting 2012 with all sports? And two, uh, are there any additional penalties, or what is the, the exit fee to leave the CAA? There, there is actually an exit fee of $250,000 to leave the uh, CAA. Um, that has, to my knowledge, always been the case. Um, so that doesn't change. Um, the immediacy is really focused more on being sure that our student athletes, that our coaches have the opportunity to participate in, le in a league championship. I really didn't want to put them in what we might refer to as a lame duck situation in which if you remain in a league once you've announced that you're leaving, can you play in, in, their, um, in their tournaments or whatever else um, uh, the uh, championship might be called within the league? Um, and so, in our judgment, it was better to just move ahead and move ahead swiftly and make that decision and give our, our uh, student athletes a chance to participate in, um, uh, in these championship, uh, conference championships early on. Dr. Rout, David yeah. Teal with the Daily David. Press and Newport News. Yes, sir. You mentioned analyzing all the, the, the finances and exposure. How long has this analysis been ongoing for VCU, and when did either VCU approach the Atlantic 10 or the Atlantic 10 approach VCU? Um, this has all happened very, very quickly, and I can certainly uh, tell you that uh, with uh, great ease that my involvement in this has been uh, a very, very short time frame. Um, and of course, the criteria was presented to me uh, only in the, a matter of the last few days, actually. Um, but the bottom line is that um, we uh, were first considered the opportunity to look at uh, the A-10 um, in the last few months. And uh, I'm going to let David talk a little bit more about that since he's been more engaged in that whole discussion. I would just respond by saying over the past few months we've been engaged in different conversations relative to evaluating the opportunity. Hank Kurz with the Associated Press. Dr. Rao, was there a lot of negotiating to get you guys out of the CAA as quickly as you did and into the A-10? Um, uh, negotiating? Um, I, I think the A-10 realizes the, the place that VCU finds itself among the nation's universities. And, you know, my sense of it was that they were very interested in uh, having us be a part of their league. So I didn't get the sense that there was a whole lot of negotiating there. Um, and um, at the other end, um, definitely not. I mean, we, um, I had a chance to speak with Tom Yeager. Um, I called him a couple of weeks ago when some of this discussion started to come up and uh, told him that we would be looking at um, a wide range of, of important criteria. Uh, but, uh, and I just talked to him again this morning, of course, to let him know of our decision. But no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't phrase it in the form of negotiation. It was just simply a discussion. Okay, and according to the CAA bylaws, over the next six years, the reward from the CAA for the NCAA tournament run last year and this year adds up to about $5 million. That's How hard right, it is right. to walk away from that? Because I, as I understand it, you forfeit that by leaving the CAA. Yes, you would forfeit that, and your number is exactly what our number is. Um, it was something that wa that was a major factor in the decision. I think sometimes what you have to do is focus on what is in the long-term best interest of your university. Um, one of the factors that we considered on a sole fi solely on a financial basis was the split that we just talked about, the 75 to the institution, 25 percent to the uh, to the league in the A-10. Um, that was very appealing to us, of course. Um, we also had to think about, in the long run, where are we realistically as 
one of the nation's great research universities, and where is our athletics program? It's extraordinarily competitive. How much faith do you have in your ability to win? My faith is very, very high. I believe that we will win, and therefore we will, we will be able to do well. The expected returns are far greater than the short-term losses. So you could always, I, I can't tell you in the last 18 years of service that I have, um, that I have provided um, as, as president, how many times you could easily get hooked by what seems like a very significant factor in terms of what you leave behind and therefore leaving you with potential indecision. Um, and what you have to do is you have to say, what do I think will likely happen with this program if we can keep the, the, the components of its success together if we move ahead? And the answer was, we have a whole lot more to gain by making a move and a whole lot to potentially lose if we just stay in place. Uh, Mark Davis, NBC 12 in Richmond. Dr. Rao, um, yes, on Friday you said that uh, you guys were still evaluating and making the best decision. Um, can you talk about what transpired over the weekend that made you make this decision today? Yeah, I think greater certainty with respect to the criteria we've been talking about. Um, I mentioned to you on Friday that we were certainly focused on student athlete success, um, the ability in the long run to continue to build strong teams. Um, frankly, one of the other things I have to think about, and certainly David and any athletics director has to think about, is what is our ability with respect to coaches to, re to not only recruit them but to retain them. Is this a source of excitement? Um, absolutely. Do people view the A-10 as one of the nation's premier conferences? Definitely. And so it becomes important. Frankly, David is uh, providing us wonderful service as an interim uh, director of athletics. We're in the process of engaging in a search. Um, our ability to attract an, an athletics director should also be significantly enhanced by our uh, ability to um, leverage this new conference membership and not say that it's far into the future, but we've, we've been decisive and we're moving now. Dr. Rao, Tim Perel yeah. with the Times Dispatch. Um, can you tell me if y'all have been able to analyze what you think the travel expenses will be for all of your athletic programs since this is a little bit far farther flung conference we, and we, we indeed have given some thought to that okay the, the second part is there an entry fee uh, involved in getting into the a10 there is and we have um, as far as the the travel we we've looked at that extensively and as you know you're all well aware of what the ca footprint is and as we have competed here in the past several years, we had the outlier of Georgia State. As we looked at the A-10, they also have an outlier in St. Louis. Uh, but the overall change is really insignificant. However, we, we do forecast uh, an additional cost to the athletic program for all athletic travel to about 150000 The entry fee to the A-10, I believe, was $700,000.